Hi, I'm Aaron Juncker, and today we're gonna look at this thing, the XUM1541. With this adapter, you can connect a five one quarter inch floppy disk drive from Commodore to your PC via USB. So, this thing is not an official product. You can manufacture it yourself or buy it by a third party manufacturer. I buy it on eBay and I will link that below. It came in this little package and it came very fast and, and it also works completely fine. It also has this very nice case with it's very nice stickers on it. It's it looks like an official product and I love that. So today I'm gonna show you how to use it and how to copy your Commodore 64 floppy disks to your computer. So to copy files from a floppy disk to the computer you have to use OpenCBM. I will put the download link in the description. This will take you to this site and there you can download it for your platform. In this tutorial we will look at Windows. So we go here, you need the Windows binaries from and then click on this link. This will download OpenCBM. Then we can unpack the zip and there we are. So now uh, we have to go under AMD64 and there we have all the tools we can use. So to use them the best way is to Go here with Explorer, type CMD, and then the command line will open in this, this folder. Okay, now we have to type the following command inst cbm xum1541. This will install the drivers. I already installed them, so I don't have to do the step. I will put this command also into, into the description. Good. Now you have to connect the Commodore 1531 to the computer via USB cable. After this make sure um, you connect the power cable to the Commodore 1531 and that it's turned on. Now you can insert your 5 130 inch floppy disk that you want to copy. Then close the tray and now it gets interesting. Now you can type D64 copy then Eight. This specifies that you want to copy from the floppy disk drive and now you type in a file name. So for example, example disk and then the extension D64. Then you click enter and it will copy the disk. The whole process may take a while. Okay, now it finished. And now we can use an application like for example the D64 editor to look what's inside this disk. Let's take here our example disk. And now we see there are so we can see the files. I won't explain here what exactly these files mean. As you might have seen, 
I'm not anymore in the install directory of OpenCBM. So how was I able to execute the command? That's actually pretty simple to do. You just have to copy the path of your directory with OpenCBM installed. So it's important you take the AMD64 directory, copy it, and then you have to go to the start menu and type environment, so edit the system environment variables, click here, then on environment variables and then this window comes up. So here you can either choose um, to do it just for your user or for the whole system and then op double click on path and then click here on new and paste the path here click ok 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 and then restart the terminal or the command shell and then it should work without problems so i hope you enjoyed this little video don't forget to like and subscribe if you liked it and tune in for the next video bye